So we talked about DVRs, we talked about NVRs, now let's talk about VMS. So VMS stands for Video Management Software. It also started to become popular around 2006, seven, and uh, there's a lot of VMS providers on the market. And some of the top ones you, that you will find are Avigilon, Genetech, Milestone, and Exact. Those are, are some of the leaders that have been the leaders for probably the last 10 or 15 years, but there are many other providers out there on the market. The main difference with the VMS is that you're purchasing a software that is running on a non-proprietary server. So I have a server in front of me and I have the lid off. So I mean, if you look inside, you can already see that there's much more hardware and technology that's going into this server than there is in a embedded NVR or an embedded DVR. So uh, you can run a VMS on pretty much any server that you like. If your company has standardized on Dell, HP, or Lenovo, you can go out and purchase one of those uh, servers and uh, purchase a VMS uh, separately and, and load it onto those servers. Uh, you can also run it in a virtual environment, uh, depending on uh, the video management software. Most of the advanced ones will run in a virtual environment. Um, a VMS pretty much uh, will will be able to provide you much more flexibility and scalability to run larger video surveillance systems uh, with little to no boundaries. So the next advantage is um, ease of use and management. So if you're planning to use your video surveillance system for more than just recording and reviewing when something happens, then you're likely to be looking in a VMS. Uh, the software is way easier to use uh, than an embedded NVR or DVR. Searching and saving is is uh, much faster and there's a lot of different tools and different ways that you can actually actually search for video. Um, having and managing multiple users is way easier with little to no restrictions and uh, overall it's just a much more intuitive system to use. So the, uh, the next advantage that I would say uh, you can get on a VMS over a, an embedded NVR or DVR is the add-on features that you can put on the system. So whenever you're looking at a VMS, take a look at what the software can do today and what it can do down the road. What features can you add on down the road? Um, one of them, uh, if you have an access control system, do you want to integrate your card readers with your uh, video surveillance system so that when somebody swipes a door, it records that in your video surveillance system as a granted access to that door? Um, do you want to add on license plate recognition so that vehicles that are driving into your premises are having their license plate recorded and, and stored. Um, you can also do stuff like uh, facial detection, uh, you know, artificial intelligence and deep learning is becoming a very hot topic for video surveillance. Will your VMS be able to do this down the road? Um, and, and one of the more common uh, things that people are adding onto their, their VMS system is video analytics. So a lot of cameras are coming with people and vehicle detection. Can the VMS you're purchasing um, handle these types of uh, these types of features so that's something you're going to want to take a look at when you're looking at a VMS um, most advanced VMS providers have a lot of these as add-ons so that's a brief summary of VMS video management software if you want to know more read our blog post the link is given below uh, you can visit our website or you can give us a call for a free online design session uh, where you can get some more detail of how to build a VMS uh, based video surveillance system